Shalom, Kal Halayim La Yahweh, Bar Shem Yahweh Shai, Bar Shem Racha HaKodash, Double Honor City Apostles, Elders, and Bishops of GMS, who I learned the truth from, who rule well, and salutations and blessings to you elect out there. This is Proverbs 4 and 7. Wisdom is the principal thing. Therefore, get wisdom, and with all thy getting, get understanding. And in the NLT, it says getting wisdom is the wisest thing you can do. And whatever else you do, develop good judgment. So I brought this scripture out because, as you see, wisdom is the principal thing. Principal means first or chief. You know, and wisdom is what, you know, is given unto the elect on this side. The mysteries and the secrets of the Most High. The oracles of the Most High. Right? But wisdom is not enough. You also need understanding. Right? And understanding goes into prudence. And uh, as the NLT says, good judgment. Right? Discerning right from wrong. Right? That makes me think of the book of uh, Hebrews. Hebrews 5 and uh, 12 it says for when for when for the time ye ought to be teachers ye have need that one teach you again which be the first principles of the oracles of the most high and are become such as have need of milk and not of strong drink it's like the strong meat for everyone that useth milk is unskillful in the word of righteousness, for he is a babe, but strong meat belongeth to them that are of full age, even those who by reason of use have their senses exercised to discern both good and evil, right? And that all comes through experience, being tried out, right? Actually applying wisdom as well, right? You're, you're not just reading the scriptures, you know, for a kick. You're actually using these principles and applying them to your life. Right, how to how to how to speak to people in your world, right? That's why the scriptures say we should be blameless. Right? We should be blameless. Nobody can come up and say, Hey, this guy threatened me and my life or he you know, he tried to fight me and he's crazy, you know, even though lies are gonna come upon you. You know, upon the hopeful elect. But you need to understand the difference between just having wisdom or knowing wisdom, right, and applying it. You know, a lot of a lot of people they get wisdom, but they don't apply it in their life. You know, and knowing wisdom is only half the battle, right? Applying and having judgment, as the scripture just said, having your senses exercised. Let's look up that word senses. Strong's G one forty five, Aistetarion. Aistetarion. Right, Aistetarion, which means faculty of the mind for perceiving, understanding, judging. Right, to perceive by the bodily senses what the mind understand. You know, so it's very important, man, because especially the times we're coming into, you're seeing these bills being passed, right, for you. Um, to pretty much get caught up in hate speech, online hate speech, and all these different things. You need wisdom more than ever, and you need to apply wisdom and judgment more than ever. Let's go to the book of 1 Corinthians 2 and 12. Now, we have received not the spirit of the world, but the spirit which is of the Most High, that we might know the things that are freely given to us of the Most High, which things also we speak, not in, the, not in the words which man's wisdom teacheth, but which the Holy Spirit teacheth, comparing spiritual things with spiritual. But the natural man receiveth not the things of the Spirit of the Most High, for they are foolishness unto him. Neither can he know them, because they are spiritually discerned. In the NLT it says, but, verse 14, but people who aren't spiritual can't receive these truths. From the Most High Spirit. It all sounds foolish to them. And they can't understand it. For only those 
who are spiritual can understand what this what the spirit means right in this precept that says uh but people who aren't spiritual or who don't have the spirit or who have only physical life and the point is who don't have the spirit so this if you don't have the rakhakudash it, it doesn't matter what your how many lessons you're listening to and how many lessons you do because you need to understand these spiritual things man everything everything is happening in the spiritual realm around you all right there's spiritual moves being made which manifests into the physical so the physical doesn't mean jack shit you know verse 15 but he that is spiritual judgeth all things yet he himself is judged of no man and i'll tell you it says those who are spiritual can evaluate all things but they themselves cannot be evaluated by others and we're looking for that pardon you know we're looking for that pardon now let me go to the book of Sirach 19 and 18. It says, The fear of the Lord is the first step to be accepted of him, and wisdom obtaineth his love. Do you see? But the fear of the Lord is the first step. How do you fear the Lord? You keep his sayings, his law, statutes, and commandments. Right? You do what he told you to, to do. Right? What is the whole duty of man? To fear the Lord and keep his commandments. Ecclesiastes 12. So it says, and wisdom obtaineth his love. The knowledge of the commandments of the Lord is the, is the doctrine of life. And they that do things that please him shall receive the first fruit of the tree of immortality, which is the changing of the bodies, the elect being, being beamed up into the chariots. That's the tree of immortality, the fruit of the tree of immortality. The fear of the Lord is all wisdom. And in all wisdom is the performance of the law and the knowledge of his omnipotency. So, wisdom is what? Wisdom is the performance, which is an action. Okay? It's an action. You discerning between, hey, pork, that's not good for me. Shrimp, those things aren't good for me. Right? Having these wicked thoughts, I got to rebuke those things. People in the world, they have wicked thoughts that turn into performances. <laughs> you know, a damn circus show, a clown show that causes people to sin more. So you have in, to, you have in first of all, prudence and inside knowledge, right? That wicked thoughts are just that, wicked. And, and they need to be rebuked before they start to set into motion, right? Before they start making you perform. You know, before them demons start making you do things. That's a great thing to know. And having the names of Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, right? The top powers on in the universe. Yahweh, the top supreme being, and his son Yahweh Shai, whom he has given all authority on his right hand, you know, on the right side of his throne. Those are amazing. What the, that's amazing, right? Verse 21, if a servant say to his master, I will not do as it pleaseth thee, and though afterward he do it, he angereth him that nourisheth him. The knowledge of wickedness is not wisdom, neither at any time the counsel of sinners prudence. We bring this scripture out quite a lot, but what does it really mean? Knowledge just means to know, you know? So that's why also... Part of this lesson is the discernment between, yeah, a person can be knowledgeable, that doesn't mean they're wise. And what's the difference? A wise person is in the good graces of the Lord, because we just read above, about wisdom obtaineth his love. So if you're wise, you are found to be loved of the Most High, because he's not going to give wisdom to just anybody. If you're found to be in the oracles of the Most High and you understand these things, that means the Most High loves you. Don't get it twisted though, he will chasten you. And it don't feel good. He'll agitate you. He'll really, he'll really do these things to mortify your members and bring out the best in you, right? You get Wisdom of Solomon um, 17 in the GNT and 7. This is during the time of the uh, Egyptians, right? The illusions produced by their magic tricks were put to shame. And all the wisdom they had boasted of came to nothing because it wasn't wisdom. It was just knowledge of wickedness. 
you know, which it, which works for a time, but it's not wisdom, right? Verse 8, they had claimed they could drive away all the fears and illnesses of sick minds, but now they themselves were sick with silly, groundless fears. Even though nothing dangerous had actually happened, they were terrified by hissing snakes and animals advancing on them. And so they died, shaking with fear, afraid even to open their eyes, yet unable to keep them shut. Wickedness is cowardly in itself, and stands self-condemned. Someone with a guilty conscience will always imagine things to be worse than they really are. And that's a state of paranoia, fear. The Lord said he's not given us a spirit of fear. Right, but of boldness. The righteous are as bold as a lion. You know, fear is nothing but the failure to use the help that reason gives. When you lack the confidence to rely on reason, you give in to the fears caused by ignorance. Let's read that correctly. When you lack the faith Okay, to rely on reason. Reason, another word for reason, we, we were just bringing it out, is prudence, judgment. Right? You give in to the fears caused by ignorance. We tell brothers, if you get pulled over by police, don't be on that slick shit. I know my rights, where, you know, I don't have to answer questions. I, Hello, sir. How's it, you know, be, 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 be cordial, have etiquette. A lot of times manners can get you out of things, man. I'm not saying be a doormat, you know, but a lot of times, hey, you seen that guy that got pulled out of his car talking about he's an Israelite and, and, and I forgot what he was saying, but this guy got pulled out of his car because he was being an idiot. All right. So you need that faith to rely on your judgment. All right. And how do you get judgment prudence? That takes experience. We were just reading it. Right? So wisdom is the first thing to get. But also apply that wisdom in your life. You must do that to gain prudence and experience. To discern, hey, this guy, this guy's spirit is off. I'm not even going to talk to this guy. Or, okay, I, I got to talk to him because he's at work. But I know how to talk to him now. You know? I know what pushes his buttons. You know what I mean? I know, I know what... You know what I mean? I know how to how to how to how to you know how to how to have a cordial conversation with this guy without him bugging out about a certain topic or whatever the case is. All right. So that was just a quick lesson. I just wanted to do that um, because again, we're in these times of uh, we're in perilous times. So everything that you do. You know, is very serious right now, and 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 how you perform in this kingdom, right? It can be life and death in various ways. I don't mean death as an ultimate death, although that is the case as well. I mean death as in sin, iniquity, getting jacked up, you know, messing up your own situation for the worse. Anyway, kahalalam, kahalayim, lehi, hawa ba'shemiyoshai, ba'shemurchakudash, shalom to the elect.